On behalf of Fenwick High School, I'd like to welcome everyone and especially thank the Lattner family for being with us here today. Uh, about three years ago, the Chicago Tribune did a feature story called High School Legends where they took a kind of a sneak peek or a story on some high school legends. And certainly Johnny Lattner was one of those. I had the fortune of meeting the Chicago Tribune reporter along with the photographer, Johnny, and his son, Jack. And we walked around the school, they took pictures, um, they told stories, and asked questions. And at one point, as part of an informal conversation, we ended up in the Lawless Gymnasium. And Johnny said to the reporter, when I pass away, the Heisman is coming to Fenwick. And before he could even finish his thought, his son Jack hit him in the shoulder and said, we haven't told anybody that yet. <laughs> and Johnny just kind of laughed and brushed him off um, as he knew how to do. Um, when you think of his accomplishments and successes, it's really pretty overwhelming. I had the great fortune and privilege of coaching seven of his grandsons here at Fenwick. Yeah. And so I got to know Johnny as Papa John. And it didn't matter if it was a Tuesday night at De La Salle for a basketball game in the middle of winter or a Friday night football game, the windy, cold, rainy weather at Marmion Academy, we always knew Johnny and his wife Peggy would be in the stands. And he was loud. <laughs> Fenwick talks a lot about excellence in the classroom, excellence in athletics, but excellence is an abstract concept. That is until you had the fortune of meeting Johnny Latner. Johnny Latner was excellent. And we will be forever grateful to the Latner family uh, for this wonderful gift as it serves as a great reminder of his legacy and perhaps more importantly to future friars that excellence is attainable. So thank you very much. At this point, we want to invite the Latner family forward to uh, pull the veil <laughs> on both sides. Are we ready? Yeah. Ready? Check. <laughs> I want to introduce Fenwick's president, mm -hmm. Father Petticore, to offer a blessing. Great, great. Thanks very much, Scott, and a warm welcome to all of the Latner clan as we gather. In the Psalms, King David says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, good and gracious God, we give you thanks and praise for the life and legacy of your servant, Johnny Latner, a Fenwick friar, an alumnus of the University of Notre Dame, a winner of the Heisman Trophy, a devoted husband, father, grandfather, and friend. Today we fondly dedicate this memorial to his memory and we thank you for the many and varied ways you touched people through him. Father, may this memorial remind our community of Johnny Latner's many wonderful achievements and may it bring a smile to our faces as we think of his goodness, his love for his family, his love for Fenwick, and the friendship he shared with so many. May it inspire the friars of today and the friars of tomorrow to strive after excellence in all their pursuits and to put their trust in the power of your grace at work in their lives. And finally, may it honor the legacy of Johnny Latner and ensure that his memory endures as a blessing for the entire Fenwick community. And we ask all of this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. And on behalf of the Latners, I want to invite Jack Latner uh, to say a few words. Thank you very much, Scott. Um, <coughs> got a few people to thank. Uh, first of all, we got to thank Father for um, and Father Petticourt on uh, embracing the idea of letting the Latins display the trophy at Fenwick. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, uh, for recognizing the fact that the trophy has got a bigger impact, a much bigger impact here at Fenwick than it does sitting at one of our houses, used as a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> Now that it's on display, it, it, it truly becomes a symbol of a young boy's life on the west side. Uh, Laverne and Madison, tough neighborhood uh, with a lot of dreams and aspirations. A lot of people told him, don't go to Notre Dame. You'll just be another average athlete. Uh, my dad wanted to prove him wrong, and that he did. So. If one student walks by here and sees the trophy and recognizes the fact that they could do anything they want, then the power of the pose did its job. Right? Whether you're great at everything you do, you could be a, a great teacher, a dedicated volunteer, a passionate community worker, a great athlete, or a brilliant student, chances are you always have an opportunity to receive an award. And the ultimate honor in that is that if you can display that award for everyone to see, it truly has an impact on other people's lives. This is my dad's final award. So he wanted everybody to share with him. So thank you. Go for ours. I'd like to invite Gene Nudo, our head football coach, to say a few words. Thank you, Jack. I, I love seeing Jack put on the spot like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were all very blessed and uh, graced to walk in the presence of true greatness. And Johnny was just a guy that sometimes I wonder if he didn't even know what a celebrity he really was, because he, he was one of us. And we were very lucky. And I've only been here for five years. I didn't grow up here. But uh, he shared his family with us. He shared his grandkids with us. And I was lucky enough to coach five of them. And believe me, I was lucky enough to coach five of them. <laughs> and they were all great young men and great players. You know, we played this last season in his memory. But, you know, it wasn't. we've always played for Johnny Latner. And, uh, and I used to call it a... Uh, three-leaf uh, shamrock, but they're a clover, but it's a shamrock. And we played with the Johnny Latner shamrock on the back of our helmets this year, and we will play with it forever. We will have the shamrock on our helmets every season because this is who we are. Uh, we're Fenwick, and we're the home of Johnny Latner. And I just want to thank everybody for being here today. You guys over here, some of you seniors are out of school now, and you came back to... Uh, Show respect for the memory of Mr. Latner, and you young guys, you really don't know yet, but your time's coming. So, thank you. And that concludes our ceremony again. I want to thank everyone for being here, and especially the Latner family for such a generous gift. Um, we'll be forever grateful. Thank you very much.